Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another fun spooky video. Today we're going to be doing a tag. A tag. I haven't done one of these in so long. Um, It's going to be a spooky tag. It's going to be a horror movie tag. So horror movies. If you're not into horror movies, get on it. I'm sorry. Just get on it. They're fun. They're weird and make you feel weird feelings. I don't know. I am a horror junkie. I love horror movies. I like have so many horror t-shirts uh favorite of all time is well we'll get into that actually we'll get into that because that's what this this tag is about that's what we're going to get into so carla stop you're spoiling it so in this video we are going to do it's a horror fanatic tag and um, it's from horror animo is what's on the picture that i have here that's all i have i have this tag a while i just never got around to doing it so we're gonna do it now and um, there's 22 questions or 22 prompts on this tag we're gonna go through them i'm gonna give you my answers to them these are all my opinions so my opinions are mine your opinions are yours neither are wrong they are opinions they also don't matter so that's my little disclaimer so no one gets mad because i know everyone's a little bit touchy in the horror horror community me included there are things some people are wrong about <laughs> but we won't get into any of that unless it, it's prompted in in the questions but anyway as i said my opinions and you have your opinions and no one's going to be hurt by it okay just before we get into this little tag video it's gonna be a fun video i have this video filmed it is already live on my channel i don't know i can't remember the order which it's this one it's soon if not it's soon after this video but it could be up already. I'm not sure. So hit subscribe down below to see that. And my Instagram is linked down below. Where I post all the up close pictures of my looks. And my TikTok is down there for a little bit of extra horror content. I think I have a tag or two to do on that as well. I might do that as well. Hmm. Not today. Because it's quarter to ten. And I'm getting picked up for my boyfriend in 45 minutes. So we're going to do this real quick. So let's stop rambling and let's get in to our little horror movie tag. So first question is your first horror movie. What was my first horror movie? My earliest memory of a horror movie. My earliest memory was me being six years old and my cousin was staying over and we convinced my auntie was watching us because um, my mom and his mom were going out and my great auntie, so my mom's auntie, was watching us. And we convinced her to let us watch Jaws. Well, he convinced her to let us watch Jaws. He's two years older than me. And we watched Jaws for the first time. Now, I loved it. I thought it was fun. I always remember it. My biggest memory from it is the leg floating to the bottom of the water, which should have... I, I mean, that could have triggered me for my horror fanatic. But yeah, I remember that. And I remember the... When they're singing the song. Um, Show me the way to go. Oh, that one. Um, And the shark is like busting through the thing that's my two memories of that movie other than that I have no memory of the first time I watch it but I watch it every so often and I do adore the movie but I did get on the Jaws ride when I was seven so literally a year later for my seventh birthday on my birthday in Florida and was traumatized traumatized and I have an abnormal fear of sharks I know sharks are scary and yes should be afraid of them some somewhat but I have an irrational fear about it I had a fear of the toilet I had a fear of the bath for a few years as well um and if there's a picture of a shark especially with its mouth open I won't touch it I won't touch the picture with its mouth open I won't touch its mouth because I feel like it's going to bite my finger and it gives me the heebie-jeebies in my legs and I have to keep my leg if I watch Jaws I have to keep my legs up on the couch with a blanket over me for protection and I will not go to pee through the entire movie so that is my first horror movie <laughs> Maybe I was traumatised by it. Number two, last horror movie that you saw in theatres. The last one I saw in theatres was Talk To Me. Yeah, that Australian horror movie with the hand, the embalmed hand where they like let a ghost possess them. And it's kind of, it's for me, it's a metaphor for drugs. And I loved it. It's an A24 movie and it is so, so, so good. You need, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. It's so, so good. Um, and I went to see it on a preview night. My friend got free tickets. She won free tickets from um, like an early shop to go see it. And then she was too sick to go. So she gave it to me. So me and my other friend went and we loved it. We were, it was a preview evening. There was, it was full of movie critics. And I was like, oh, I feel important. But yeah, go see that movie. That's an amazing movie. My favourite classic horror. Now, are we considering all anything from like 70s, 80s to be classic? Or are we considering just like slashers classic? Because I always, when I think of classic horror, I think of slashers. My favourite classic horror would probably be Halloween. 
is that really typical to say kind of um halloween i would say probably because i do watch it every year every halloween not on halloween night but i always watch it in october because it just gives me all the halloween vibes there's nothing compares to that for the halloween vibes for like an actual slasher movie yeah that's probably the one if we're going general classic we're gonna go the exorcist because it's my favorite movie of all time well no my favorite horror movie of all time number four horror movie you thought you'd love and hate it instead Okay, so I have a bit of a difficult relationship with this movie. <laughs> um, this is not the only movie I have a difficult relationship with. The Last Exorcism. Is that the one, the found footage one? Isn't that the name of it? The Last Exorcism? That came out in cinemas when I was about 16. Um, just old enough to go see it. But I was like, oh, The Exorcist affected me. And this is a modern, at the time, modern. So we're talking what, I was 16, so 2010? ish I was like this is going to affect me and it's found footage and it's going to really really get me and then I went to see it and it didn't and I was like I came in and I was like what the hell was that what the hell was that now I was 16 I didn't get all the metaphors and even now when I think back on it I don't remember the whole like the main guy was trying to disprove it and then was proven that it was real and the mental health aspect to it I didn't get any of that at the time I don't know why it just completely went over my head because I get that from The Exorcist it's just that one just completely went over my head and I just left the movie being like what the hell is that now I've since grown to like the movie not my favorite movie but I have grown to appreciate the movie more but yeah I'd probably say that one because there's another one that's coming up and I'm pretty sure one of these prompts will bring this up there is another one coming up that could fit that category but I'm not going to talk about it yet my favorite horror remake oh there's a couple can I say three <laughs> and it's gonna make people mad <laughs> for all three of them <laughs> so first I would say my number one if someone says to me your favorite horror remake I would say Friday the 13th I understand the love for Friday the 13th I understand it I don't have it okay um I love the Pamela Voorhees I love all that kind of stuff I love the kind of nuts of it but it's can I say it am I gonna be honest about it it's not a good the remake though I love <laughs> I only recently watched it with my boyfriend because he'd never seen it and I had to show him the scene it's a sex scene so you know um and it's the scene with Brett is it or Trent Trent sorry who's an ass by the way but he's supposed to be that's the point he's supposed to be the ass of the movie and he says you're are stupendous and I had to show my boyfriend that because I was like that's the best line in the whole movie I just love Jason and I think he's so like big and burly and he's like running at him bang and yeah love that movie so so good the next one I'm going to talk about is the Evil Dead remake the 2013 remake that is Mel oh my god I remember watching the trailer I was like what is this it's so intense it's so gory it's so just ugh. And Mia is terrifying for most of the movie um, because there's a bit towards the end. Anyway, no, I'm not going I'm not going to spoil any of these movies, but yeah, so, so good. Loved it. It was so intense. I watched it a few months ago and loved it. My boyfriend kind of was half watching it, even though he doesn't really like horror movies. This is a me thing. Um, He doesn't like horror movies, but he will sometimes throw his eye up and kind of watch it and get into it. And that was one of them. And then my other one that I'm going to mention as well, just as a little honourable mention for this one as well, is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Loved it. Number five, favourite vampire movie. Oh, that's difficult. As soon as I hear the word vampire, I think of Twilight. <laughs> Because I was a toy heart. <laughs> it's Team Jacob though. I'm a werewolf gal. Sorry. But yeah. Um. Ooh. When I think of a vampire movie, one pops to mind. I don't know if it's really considered horror though. Kind of. Interview with a vampire. Yeah. I do love that movie. I think it's so good. I love the whole like you're hearing the story. Like he's telling the story at the beginning and then cuts to the end. I love that. It's like modern times at the end. Loved all that. That's the only one I can think of offhand. Vampire movie. I mean Dracula that's probably my favorite favorite because I, I just have so many feelings for that one but I'd say interview with a vampire for story wise interview with a vampire mm. number seven a horror movie you think no one nobody else has seen that's hard because I haven't seen a lot of horror movies that everyone has seen there's there's loads I only recently a couple of years ago watched Hellraiser for the first time so there is a lot that I haven't seen or yeah that I, I haven't seen I have a list on my letterbox of all the movies that I haven't watched and ones I have watched and then I kind of 
go between and when I hear about a new horror movie I add it to that I'm gonna have to pull up my letterbox list because like I I don't know I can't think of anything offhand oh I actually have two mm, okay um so first one is Hunt it was on I'm gonna say Netflix no Prime it was on Prime um these teenagers go to a haunted house but it's not a haunted house if that makes sense um on Halloween night yeah so the murder and stuff happens usual horror movie shenanigans um that one was very good I really liked that that was really good um and then the other one I have just popped up there on my list was who invited them again I think it was prime maybe um that it was on or was it Disney plus I'm not sure because we don't have Netflix anymore so I don't know what's on Netflix right now I'm pretty sure it was prime who invited them small movie the acting on in some characters not great on the kind of main protagonists or antagonists I would say very good um weird psychological kind of thing it's like not necessarily home invasion but in the element of home invasion and just a bit weird um but I really liked that as well I probably prefer Hunt to Who Invited Them but that was also very good so there's two for you that I, I'm assuming people have seen them so I don't know but they're they weren't known to me before I watched them. Number eight, favorite foreign horror movie. Easy, Wreck, the, the Spanish version. Yeah, easy. It's like zombie fan footage, trapped in one kind of building sort of thing and Spanish and it's just terrifying. It was so good. I watched that with my friends when we were like 17. Big group was watching it and yeah, good. It was an intense, an intense watch. I loved it. Number nine, favorite supernatural horror movie. Oh God, there's so many of them. I mean, you can si consider any of them supernatural. The Exorcist, Conjuring. I'll say Conjuring. You know that? I'll say Conjuring because the clap clap was brilliant. I loved that. Yeah, we'll say Conjuring. Yeah. Plus Patrick Wilson's a babe in that. Not gonna lie. He's more of a babe in Insidious though. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get to that movie eventually if it comes up on this. Number 10, horror movie everyone loves but you don't. Here we go. <laughs> right next. Insidious. I don't like Insidious. I don't. I like the first half of it. Before, okay, I love her. I love, I love Lin Che. I love her and I think she's brilliant in the movie. Before she gets there, I love the movie. Once she gets there and they start going to the other, is that what it's called? I keep wanting to say the upside down, but that's Stranger Things. Um, When they go to the other dimension, I don't like the movie anymore. I just, I just don't attach myself. I don't find it scary. The lipstick demon is only scary in one scene and it's the one scene everyone knows about. He's the one that looks like Darth Maul. Because once you see that, that's it. When you see him in any other scene after that, you see too much of him and he's not scary and he looks like Darth Maul. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. Um, But when they're hearing noises in the house, when the clock is going off and the door is open and they think someone's in the room, that's terrifying when they're hearing stuff over the baby monitor. Terrifying, I loved all that. I, but I just don't get the hype. I don't get the hype of the whole movie. And I haven't seen any, I think I've seen the second one, maybe? No, I've seen Sinister too. I haven't, I've only seen the first one and I don't, I, nah, I'm not bothered seeing any of the ones. I don't really mind because I know the first one is the best one, which says a lot. So there's my rant and I'm sorry if I offended people. Number 11, favourite comedy horror, Shaun of the Dead, <laughs> obviously. Um, It's brilliant. It's a pure brilliance it's everything you could want in a horror comedy a scary movie as well i put that up there too because that's a parody horror um and specifically number one and number two specifically number two though because that's one i grew up with that says a lot about me number one was really good but i would say Shaun the dead because it's just the whole it's it's realistic in a way of like if it was if that was actually happening if a zombie apocalypse was happening would people notice straight away or would you kind of just be like oh whatever he's he's not well he's dying she's sick he's hung over you know what I mean would you really notice straight away it's brilliant I loved it number 12 most disturbing horror movie I mean I know there's more disturbing movies out there than this movie there's one in particular beginning with s which I'm not going to mention um and I have no intention of watching it's it's the one it, that would be my line I'm not going there I will never probably get over that movie if I did watch it I would say terrifier I haven't seen the second one yet. I do intend to watch it because I really liked the first one, but I would say that's probably, I watched that, I was filming for Spooky Season last year and I watched that movie and I was like, oh, wow. Okay, that was, that was a bit much, but I liked it. Um. So yeah, I, yeah, I'd say Terrifier. Yeah, again, there's more disturbing movies. That's 
I, I know, I know. But I do have a line. I do have a boundary. And there's certain boundaries I won't cross. So we won't go there. Human centipede we could put up there as well. Um, yeah. Haven't seen the second one. I know that's more disturbing than the first one. I probably will watch that. But um, that's kind of touching over the boundary a little bit. Um, but yeah. We'll say human centipede as well. We'll put the two of them up there. Number 13. Favourite zombie movie. <sighs> oh. Um, oh, there's a couple. Oh, I love a zombie movie. So my instant one that I always think of is 28 Days Later. It's it's amazing. It's so good. It's it's grimy and gritty and just a, an assault on your senses when you're watching with the sound and when they're in the house and that zombie comes through the window every time. Gets me every time. And I I hate when jump scares get me. I don't mind jump scares. I hate when they get me though. <laughs> um and put a Killian Murphy in a movie and I'll watch it. That's yeah. Put him in a movie and you got me. Buy my ticket. The second one I'm gonna go with is Land of the Dead, weirdly enough. I have a weird attachment to that movie. I love it. I love the idea that the zombies kind of know what they're kind of aware. They're aware of what their life was before. And they kind of come and attack the big people. And they're also making like people are making fun of the zombies as well like they have a whole sideshow thing where you can get a picture taken with a zombie and all that kind of stuff and it's kind of making a big show of them and like poor zombies poor zombies really so yeah I do really like that movie I have a big attachment to that movie and then the next one after that one would probably be Slither oh have you ever seen Slither I love Slither Slither is one of my favorite horror movies ever probably in my top 20 um weird movie it's kind of like an alien-esque thing that turns into a zombie thing and then a weird grotesque movie I love that movie so much it's funny as well kind of fits into a horror comedy element as well funny but yeah I yeah Slither's up there definitely up there 14 favorite indie horror movie indie I was gonna say Blair Witch but I don't find that scary I find the lore of how it was made and how it was advertised better than the actual movie to me oh I kind of have one um yeah I kind of have one for that one host is that what it's called host um is a host it has i can't think of her name now in it um basically their friend it's all done through like zoom video chat skype kind of thing um and their friend it's the anniversary of their friend's death by suicide and they trigger warning but by the way I should put that in there I'll, I'll put triggers in if i need to um and then she's coming back to hunt them through the things that she's typing in the chat and all. I really enjoyed that movie. That was fun. It was grim as well. Absolutely grim. Number 15, favourite monster movie. Monster movie. Are we talking universal monsters or are we talking creature feature? Because there's no option for creature feature on this tag. Um, If we're going for creature feature, Jaws. Um, if we're going for universal monster movie, Frankenstein. It's called Frank, isn't it? Frankenstein or is it Frankenstein's monster? I don't know. The original Frankenstein, yeah. Number 16, horror film with a great soundtrack. <laughs> Shaun of the Dead as well, actually. <laughs> if we say soundtrack as in songs, I don't really know, to be honest. If we're going for like score, one that gets me and gives me shivers every time I listen to it is Candyman. Oh, that piano, it's beautiful. Tubular Bells on The Exorcist, I have an attachment to that because my dad as well. Halloween, but 2018 Halloween, because it's a particular, the, the moment when... The granddaughter sees Michael through the fence. That moment does a boar and that loved it. Um, but actual like soundtrack as in songs, like individual songs. I don't really know any. You can leave comments down below on your opinions on all these and give me like suggestions for things I may not know of. Um, and suggestions on horror, horror movies because I mean it is spooky season. I am watching them all the time. Um, but I want you guys to do the prompts for this as well. Number seventeen, favorite eighties horror movie. Go classic and go Nightmare on Elm Street. That's always fun. Johnny Depp, yes. Baby Johnny Depp. No, actually, I changed my mind. Not Nightmare on Elm Street. Movie that I love more. Child's Play. Came in out, out in 88. I just wanted to look that up because I wasn't sure if it was early 90s or late 80s. Um, Came out in 88. Child's Play. Chucky, my boy. Oh, he's a Gemini as well. I know that for a fact. <laughs> he's definitely a Gemini. <laughs> 100%. I don't know what his date of birth is. But he's definitely a Gemini. I have the palette. Um, I did a look on my channel for this. I am the bride of Chucky. I mean, she is me. Um, she's my alter ego. I love Tiffany. Yeah, Child's Play. The original Child's Play came out in 88. That one. Number 18. Favourite black and white horror movie. Oh, Psycho. Easy, easy, easy. Psycho. Anthony Perkins in that movie is just golden. 
perfect yeah perfect loved it it then triggered me to watch Bates Motel the TV show which I loved and adored and I never wanted it to end and when I only had a few episodes left I would like space out how long so it, it, it kind of didn't end for a while um psycho 100% easy hello <laughs> um I look very different right now for the next question but I actually got picked up by my boyfriend just as I finished that last question and I didn't have time he was in a hurry he was he was dropping people off as well so I had to literally go as I went and yeah here we are I'm gonna finish off the video looking like this it's gonna be weird I know bit jarring but we're gonna finish off the video because that's that's what we're here to do I'm fin here to finish off this gorgeous tag of the horror movies so last Question was number 18, favourite black and white horror movie, which I already answered. Number 19, best use of gore. I'm not opposed to gore. I quite like a gory movie, I should say. But it's not always necessary. And sometimes there's movies that have it for no reason. Gore, let's see. Best use of gore. I probably have a couple answers for this one as well. I know I've got a couple for a few of them, but I have a couple for this one because I've got a couple running around in my head. So first one, I would say... The Evil Dead remake, the 2013 remake. That movie was hardcore. Uh, I remember watching the trailer for it and I was like, oh, oh, you're going to be intense. And it is. And I love it. Um, it's the epitome of a gory Evil Dead movie because that's what the originals are. And I do like the originals, but I prefer this one because it's a bit more hard hitting. It's not as like, I find the originals kind of a little bit goofy. This is a little bit more for me and I kind of prefer that. The next one that I kind of have that popped into my head instantly was The Terrifier. The first Terrifier movie. So I know he was in All Hallows Eve, then Terrifier, Terrifier 2. And I think he's doing another All Hallows Eve or else he was already in another All Hallows Eve. I don't know. Art the Clown in Terrifier. There is a particular scene and if you've seen the movie, you know the scene I'm talking about with a chainsaw. Yeah, that scene... I watched that. I was actually filming a look for Spooky Season last year and I was just... I was in between like filming and um, I think I was finishing off the rest of my face and I had it on and I just stopped what I was doing I was just like oh my god so yeah that one as well and then the other one that kind of also springs to mind is everyone would think of Saw but I actually think of Hostel Part 1 Um, Hostel Part 2 is actually really good I do like that one as well but Hostel Part 1 the Achilles bit oh oh gives me shivers Um, yeah really really like that um, it's simplified gore like there's only moments of it and I really like there's a really good storyline to it as well yeah they'd be my three I'd probably say Evil Dead remake though is probably my my actual answer for that one number 20 favourite horror movie character um okay if we're gonna go for good characters like we're talking about final girls final boys whatever it is um like the heroes, the protagonists. I would say we love Laurie Strode, Sydney Prescott. She's my final girl. Sydney Prescott is my final girl. I love her so much. Oh my god. And then if I'm gonna say the antagonist, the villain, the evil characters, Chucky and Tiffany, obviously, they're my faves. I will definitely have a Chucky and Tiffany doll in my house when I have my own house. Weirdly, Father Damien Carris in The Exorcist. I love his character so much. I love the whole journey he goes on throughout the movie. I love it so much. Such a heart-wrenching character. I love him. And then the other one. I'm going to say, well, kind of a combo again. Billy and Stu from Scream. <sighs> oh, Billy. She got more attractive as that movie went on. I don't know. Just You just did. And then Stu. Stu, my guy. Please come back. I'm fully in the high hopes that Stu's character is going to come back eventually. But yeah, I love, love that movie. And I love those characters. It's why Scream is one of my favourites. Definitely in my top 10. Number 21. Best horror franchise. Okay, every horror franchise that's a big franchise. We're talking the big hitters. The Friday 13th, The Nightmare on Elm Street. They have a lot of bad movies. We have to admit, we have to admit, there was a lot of bad movies. You've got Freddy's Dead, Dream Child, Dream Master, I think was another one. Um, a few not great ones in there. Then you've got Friday 13th, like part four, like just random ones, even with Texas Chains. I haven't seen all of them, but I know part two, I hate it. I couldn't stand it. Halloween, Halloween five. Oh, what a drag. Jesus, 
and then they went into the thorn kind of storyline but anyway what would I pick as my favourite horror franchise what has the best movies like if we're talking about the amount of movies and the num- like the the ratio to the number of movies to the best movies I'm gonna say Scream again um because Scream 1 and 2 amazing 3 eh sorry 4 is really good but still doesn't compare to the first two um 5 I loved and 6 I loved so you're talking about two one kind of not great movie one okay movie and then the rest are bangers yeah for me like you might disagree on the newer ones coming out but they were bangers for me I loved them so I'm gonna say scream and then the last question number 22 best death scene now there is countless to go through and I have a lot of favorites the one that just freaks me out the most and it's because of my fear that I have my phobia that I have I have thalassophobia if you know what that is you'll probably already know which one I'm going to talk about is the opening sequence of Jaws oh it's like my greatest fear like I'm getting the shivers even I have goosebumps everywhere it just it's literally my biggest fear about being in water like I, it's everything I imagine every time I go into water where I can't feel the bottom or even just anything up to my waist that's what I can imagine is someone just gr- something just grabbing me and trying to pull me under like that opening scene it's in the dark she's around no one can hear her like and then and then she goes under and silence and that's it <gasps> oh my god it freaks me out it's turning my stomach I hate it like some honourable mentions the opening sequence of Scream obviously um, you've got the first kill of Hereditary is all I'll say because I don't want to spoil it for you guys the first kill of Hereditary shocked I was like what the hell um, not how that movie how th- I thought that movie was gonna go you've also got your classics like the psycho shower scene you have got the Johnny Depp in the bed scene as well love that where he gets sucked into the bed love that and anything else I can think of oh another one. Oh, that freaks me out as well Ooh. um Final Destination 3 the one with the roller coaster that one um the two girls getting into the sunbeds oh my god it's awful it's horrible it's horrific I hate it but I love it as well in a sick way yeah no don't like it but I love it so that when they get into some beds and all this stuff happens to make it go wrong and then it goes wrong and then they just burst into flames and oh my god it's horrendous that as well that's another one so that is it that is finally took me two goes to film this the horror fanatic challenge this is 22 questions on horror movies and what I thought about them so let's be civil in the comments okay my opinions are mine and they will be mine and your opinions are yours and they can be yours and it's not going to affect anyone what your opinion is it's not going to affect anyone what my opinion is you're going to go on and live your lives as normal because I know there can be a lot of hate on horror movie opinions but we're going to be civil in the comments okay so that is it let me know down in the comments what your answers to all these questions are it's very fun I love doing these I have more of these to do that I'll probably do in like future spooky seasons as well so I'm very excited to do those if you did like this video give me a big thumbs up down below it's the quickest simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support get me around to more people and also let me know that you like the video and I will continue to do many more and don't forget to subscribe down below to see more videos coming up for the rest of spooky season we're almost towards the end which is very sad but it's coming so hit subscribe for more and to see this look as well because it's already filmed. And as I said in the beginning, my Instagram is linked down below. I post all the up close pi- eye pictures and full face pictures of all of my looks. You'll get to see two looks in this video because of the way this happened. But they'll all be up on my Instagram and my TikTok is down below for a little bit of extra content. So I think that's everything for me, guys. I will see you in the next video.